Hi, it's me Umair, back with another UWP important topic. In this tutorial, I'm going to be talking about Adoptive UI in Universal Windows application development. So what is Adoptive UI? We have different elements on our UI. We have images, we have buttons, we have radio buttons and much more elements. And we are going to design our user interface in such a way that same elements adopt its positions according to the screen size like if we run our application on desktop or tablet uh, the elements should be at the specific position on our device and if we run our application on mobile phones all the elements will adopt its position according to the screen size of our mobile devices so all these things will be done uh, in this main page.xml file if you already know how to create a uwp project i have created an empty project uh, this is my solution explorer and in the main page.xaml file i'm going to write my xaml uh, to make an adoptive user interface this adoptive user interface make the windows 10 application as universal windows application because the same package work for windows phone and desktop as well so i have opened main page.xaml so inside my grid element i'm going to define a stack panel and in my desktop i'm going to orient i'm going to set the orientation of my stack panel to horizontal and as i decrease the width of my screen i'm going to uh, set the orientation of my stack panel to vertical but you can do it with other elements as well the way you want but i just want to show you that how to detect and trigger screen size and set our elements so let's get inside our grid element right here and inside it i'm going to right scroll viewer and i'm going to set its name affects scroll viewer and i'm going to send its horizontal alignment actually not horizontal alignment i need to set its horizontal scroll bar visibility and that has to be disabled and vertical scroll bar visibility that has to be uh, in horizontal in the desktop or vertical scroll bar should be hidden and then I need to set my grid dot row and that has to be two horizontal alignment center width auto and vertical alignment should be center as well all right so let's close our scroll viewer and now i need to um, add a stack panel inside this scroll viewer so let's add a stack panel and let's give it a name as well and i'm gonna give it my stack panel all right and i'm gonna set its orientation the default orientation is horizontal all right and i'm going to change its value the value of the orientation property to vertical after detecting the screen size and uh, in which device we are running our application all right so after that i need to add vertical alignment to center and horizontal alignment to center as well all right so we are done with our stack panel properties um, let's add margin as well because i'm going to add uh, rectangles inside it so 10 10 all right so inside it i'm going to add rectangle so rectangle fill and it is red and width is 150 height is 150 and margin is 10 all right so i'm going to copy this one and paste it four more times i need five rectangles all right so our user interface has been set and as you can see that I have set the orientation to horizontal. Now I need to find a way to detect that 
uh, in which device I'm running my application and that can be detected by the width of device if the width is uh, larger uh, and the height is smaller it means we are uh, running our application in a landscape whether it's on a desktop tablet or a mobile phone if we are running mobile phone in a landscape mode then the um, UI should be same uh, on a mobile and desktop if we are running our application on a vertical mode uh, probably the vertical mode exists in tablet and mobile uh, so we need to change its orientation all right so I'm going to come and use uh, the something called adoptive triggers all right uh, so I will come right here outside this parent grid element and I'm going to define visual state manager dot visual state groups all right and inside this visual state manager I need to set that what I want to do inside it I want to change the user interface of my application and that's called the windows states so I need to tell it that visual state group x colon name and I need to give it windows states all right and inside this uh, visual state group uh, I'm going to set uh, the values of some properties of this stack panel all right and in order to do this I need to give it the width of my screen I can give the height of the screen as well the min height or max height uh, I can set if the min height is this and max height is this then do this if the min width is this and max width is this then do this but I'm just gonna set out the width uh, you can do it uh, with height as well so I'm going to write visual state x colon name and I'm going to name it wide state because everything I'm going to write inside it is for the desktop or a landscape mode all right so inside it I'm going to write visual state dot state triggers and I'm going to set adoptive trigger main window width and I need to set that what should be the minimum width uh, from where uh, I I will give the 900 it means that everything if the 900 pixels of my screen are greater than 900 it means that we are running our application on the desktop uh, or a tablet or a landscape mode if uh, the pixels value the width of the screen uh, becomes less than the 900 it means that uh, we are not running on the landscape mode or a desktop screen all right so let's end this one and we have set this uh, triggers and after that I need to set the setters for the properties of my stack panel so just come outside the state triggers I need to set visual state dot setters and inside it uh, I need to first select that uh, which element I want to change I need to change the stack panel all right so I'm going to write setter target and I'm going to give the name of my stack panel my stack panel dot orientation that I want to change the value of orientation property of my stack panel element all right so let's copy this one so that I don't uh, do any mistake in the spelling so after that I want to change its value and I want to give it vertical if we are running your application on desktop or landscape mode uh, the orientation value should be vertical all right so now I'm going to copy this one visual state all right and paste it one more time right here and I'm going to change its name narrow state all right and inside it I need to give the minimum width if my width is greater than equal to zero or less than 900 then it means that we are running our application on the vertical mode or mobile phone mode 
uh, we need to set it with the pixel values all right and now I uh, actually I needed to add the horizontal right here because on the white screen I needed to add horizontal all right if the width is greater than 900 then we need to set the orientation of our stack panel to horizontal otherwise it's vertical if the value is greater than or equal to 0 or less than 90 all right and one thing more that I have done a mistake right here I need to copy this one the whole Visual State Manager code and control X to cut it and paste it within this grid all right and I'm gonna paste it right here so let's run this application and it's gonna take some time and uh, we'll see that if orientation changes if we are running our application on desktop mode or on the mobile mode so uh, our application has been started and right now its orientation is horizontal because its width is greater than 900 and if I decrease its size you can see that orientation is set to vertical let me increase it right here so you can see uh, it's less than 900 it's greater than 900 and we can also change the values of our uh, min width min window width or uh, main window height as well and we can also use the max window width or max window height right here so this is the one way of uh, working with the adoptive user interface in UWP application there is another way that how we can add uh, uh, our adoptive UI code inside our XAML uh, if our application has too many elements then it's very difficult to uh, change individual properties of our elements if we have the hundreds of element in one page uh, then it's not really easy it just messed up so uh, Microsoft have introduced uh, a new way to add the adoptive UI what we do is uh, if we go to solution explorer uh, we have main page dot XAML and we have the main page dot XAML dot CS uh, all the code that we write is at the backend code which is the C sharp code uh, what we do is we create two XAML files one is for the mobile and other is for the desktop and both the XAML files will use the same backend file main page dot XAML dot CS all right so how we can do it uh, let's right click here right click our project and I'm going to create a new XAML file uh, in this project so let's right click add and a new item and inside it I'm going to click on XAML view all right and let's click add we have the main page one as the name of our file but uh, we need to change its name uh, in a proper format so let's change its name to main page the name of this file should be same as the as this one all right because we want both the files to use the same backend file so main page and after that I need to write dot device family dash mobile and main page dot device family dash mobile dot xaml all right and I'm gonna click on add so you can see that we have the main page dot device family uh, dash mobile dot xaml so what I'm gonna do I'm going to go to the main page dot xaml file so first of all what I need to do is I need to select all this visual straight manager code and click on this icon to comment this code all right and now I'm gonna copy this one copy this one and come inside this main page dot device family and inside my XAML code inside the grid I'm going to paste it right here all right we know that this file is for mobile because we have set main page dot device family dash mobile dot XAML so in mobile the orientation should be vertical so I'm going to change it to vertical all right and the original default main page dot XAML file is for desktop uh, it is set to horizontal uh, and my mobile device is set to vertical the benefit of uh, writing the adoptive user interface like this is that we don't need to explicitly tell uh, the pixel value of the width of screen or the pixel value of the 
uh, height of our screen it automatically detect if our application is running uh, in mobile device then show the orientation of our stack panel to vertical no matter if our width is greater than 900 in mobile device even then the orientation will remain to vertical all right it is not dependent on pixels but it will automatically detect uh, if we are running our application on mobile so let's save this project and i'm going to run it okay so there is no change the reason is that it is detecting that we are running this application on, on our system all right in order to test it we need to run our application on actual real mobile device i don't have a mobile device uh, right now uh, i just wanted to show you that it is not depending on the width and height it is depending on in which device we are running our application we are running our application on desktop no matter the width become 10 even if it becomes 0 the orientation will remain horizontal all right uh, but you can see the result uh, right here in the output user interface uh, if you see on the horizontal and the mobile let's click on fit all you can see it's vertical because uh, it's for the mobile device so i hope that you have got the idea of how to write uh, uh, adoptive ui code for our xaml uh, if you like it please make sure you comment below if you have any question and like my video as well subscribe my channel for more uwp videos in the next video i'm gonna talk about drag and drop elements uh, from our system and within the application uh, of our uwp so stay tuned thanks for watching